AI should always be seen as a means to an end. And in the realm of finance, it's saying, how can we help keep our company as healthy and as happy as possible so that we can continue to do the things that we value? AI and finance is a very broad topic. Uh, for some, it's as simple as building out an easy forecast. If I've had this many sales so far this year, how many do I expect to have? AI and finance can also go as deep as saying, all right, I've looked at these prospective uh, companies' financials. We would like to do a merger or acquisition with this one. So it really does span the gamut in terms of application. What's unique about AI and finance is that there's also a very high bar for precision right? It's, it's one thing perhaps to misclassify an image of a dog versus a cat. It's another to have your financials wrong. So AI and finance is also a very uh, intense, very specific system where there has to be a high degree of accuracy, a high degree of explainability, but the payoff is immense. And so if you can make finance operate more efficiently and more effectively, you can really turbocharge whatever the business is trying to do. To me, the biggest applications of AI in finance uh, really start by centering around how do you optimize what your company is trying to do, trying to sell, when it happens and where it happens. So demand forecasting is a great example. The ability to say, we believe that we are going to sell twice the number of uh, pickles that we sold last year. And as a result, we need to double the amount of trucks that we buy or the number of uh, facilities processing. Those are very important decisions for any business to make. Another benefit for AI and finance is that it really helps open your eyes to new opportunities. So thinking through, all right, where are we not investing where we should be? Can we process these massive spreadsheets or these piles of financial data to say, this opportunity right here, this is one we might want to think about going after because even though it only happened a couple times in our company's year, the ROI, the impact of those few things that happened was massive. So let's try to do more of that. So it's also uncovering insights through the whole data mining process. So within the financial world, fraud is a huge topic. It's one of the areas that can be a real drag to any company's bottom line, to its corporate mission. And so often the fraud happens very subtly. And it's hard for humans to identify if you have terabytes of data flowing through your system, where do you find that needle in a haystack? But AI is able to expand to cover all of the data to say this right here looks like an outlier and to dynamically learn what is an anomaly and what isn't because it's going to depend based on the time of year, based off of what your company is doing. So that way, if AI can be applied to financial anomaly detection, to fraud, to waste, to credit card abuse, whatever it might be, you can end up having another massive impact on the company itself. Any professional using artificial intelligence, any employee of a company or any entrepreneur starting their own business, at the end of the day, your business boils down to finance. Are you making a profit? Are you going to be able to continue to thrive or are you losing money? And by being able to look and think through how AI can be applied in the realm of finance, you can also grow closer to your business, to your stakeholders by saying, I understand what the business is trying to accomplish with these financial terms. Here's how we think AI can help support that. AI should always be seen as a means to an end. And in the realm of finance, it's saying, how can we help keep our company as healthy and as happy as possible so that we can continue to do the things that we value?